I briefly talked about all the extravaganza and the egg drop events in my video about the history of Roblox egg hunts, but I want to focus specifically on the 2008 egg hunt for this video. Lasting for three days in 08, the egg drop was the first Easter event for the site, and it happened site-wide. Throughout every single Roblox game on the site, eggs would drop at different times of day and at scheduled hours announced by Roblox. So while it wasn't a three-day straight event, that just made some eggs even harder to get. The eggs were hat items for your avatar, with nothing quite like this on the site at the time. They were very unique, and some of them are still highly sought after. Each egg had different requirements in order to acquire them, so I'll go through each egg and how players were able to unlock them. The stationary egg of Boring was the easiest egg to get. All you had to do is find it, touch it, and you'd get it added to your inventory. The blinking egg of relocation would teleport to random parts of the map, forcing players to be quick in order to get it. The bouncing egg of boing boing would jump around, meaning players had to strategize a bit in order to capture it. The kind egg of sharing required three players to touch it before someone was able to collect it. The puzzling egg of enigma required players to play chess with the egg, and it would randomly bring up four different chess boards. The player would need to chat out the winning move in order to collect the egg. The invisible egg of shadow would fade invisible over time. The golden egg of kings required users to wear a crown avatar item, and very few of which were available on the site at the time. The bombastic egg of annihilation would fly around and shoot rockets at players, meaning users either had to team up or find a way to fly to the egg to collect it. The Wanwood egg of ZOMG would spawn giant, and after being touched it would slowly shrink. After it returned to a regular sized egg, users could collect it. The legendary egg of Gygax would spawn randomly and could only be collected when it landed on the 20 face of its D20 die shape. The cracked egg of Ponage was the hardest one, because you had to kill a user wearing the bunny ears of caprice in order to collect it. The bunny ears of caprice were a troll item released by Telemon alongside the egg drop 2008. The avatar item looked like bunny ears, but when players would spawn in game wearing them, they would explode after 5 seconds, killing them and anyone around them. Only administrators would be safe from the exploding bunny ears. Basically, to sum up, you had to kill a Roblox admin in order to get the cracked egg of Ponage, or kill a newly spawned user wearing this hat within 5 seconds. Telemon did a little more trolling for the event as well, creating three egg avatar items which were either never released or used at a later date. The tiny egg of non-existence, which was reused for the Metaverse Champions event in 2021. The blue steel egg of genius, which was reused for the Rotris event later in 2008. And the Wikipedian egg of alien mind control, which has never been released at the time of recording this video. With the egg spawning in every game on Roblox, there's no map to look at and no special items beyond the bunny ears of Caprice. Players did get creative with this event though, creating empty base plate maps with funnels in order to collect eggs in a single location, which is pretty smart actually. So do you remember playing the Extravaganza 2008? What's your favorite egg from this event? Let me know down below, and thank you all for watching today's little video.